went so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. Turn around the front. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Uh oh. Drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine. And I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm out, so try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at the beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at the beautiful stars. I wanna take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can. Drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Nothing can break me. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is really cold, and I'm hanging out here watching the girls in the big field. Watching our Gracie, I'm telling you, Palominos and young horses, they are so different than old ones. I can't believe we started this journey needing safe, beginner safe, kid friendly horses, and now we're already at the part where we're ready for a more adventurous journey, you guys. Today is Tuesday. I don't know how long it's been since Gracie's had a big field to run and, and move in. This field here is bigger than the one that she came from, but wow, what a crazy thing. And did you guys see Ruby? For any of you guys that don't know Ruby's story, we got Ruby from somebody who was, who was getting rid of her because she was a horrible fit for their family. She wasn't potty trained, she was two and a half years old, and she jumped every single thing they tried to put her in and put her behind so she wouldn't pee everywhere. And when we got her, within a day, we knew she was perfect for us. She can jump like we want her to. And now she herded Gracie. Do you know what no, herding? She, she, she tries. 
to play. No, she herded her no. into. She herded her. That so looked Ruby like her. Ruby every single day when Grace Ruby was always plays with. Okay, except everything. that she, she chased her. She wants a big dog to play with. She chased her and guided her into her paddock. That was amazing. Well, was the first one in the field. She was trying to miss. Grace was like, wait, oh where my gosh. Gracie loves like, it. She's like, wait, where are we going, guys? And started running away. I'm just like, mm, she'll go in there. But field. I thought you were walking her. No. Oh, so we want to she train them. To learn. Yeah, to we learn. want to train them to go in and out, right? So it's yeah. easy on us. Plus, she wouldn't leave Stella. She wouldn't go up to the house. Yeah. She'd be like, oh my god, Stella's over there. She was on her so way. So like, oh, she's coming back. She, she was on her way up to the house until no, our amazing no, no. dog. She wasn't going up to the house. Trust me, she was Ruby. hurting her. Ruby, yeah. you are amazing. All together. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! in the barn because the horses every time we look out the window somebody's galloping and somebody's bucking uh, Gracie reared all the way standing up practically like watching them in the field is so funny they're trying Gracie to find the grass the which makes me nervous I did check to make all sure the grass is dead anyway the grass is dead but I mean if you haven't had grass for a long time and suddenly you're like there's lots of hay out there is there lots of hay out there lots of hay out there whoops lots of hay out there and they're out there looking for grass, but they're so funny. Like, I love watching them. Stella was doing lead changes, right? Flying changes. Mm -hmm. Oh, there goes Gracie again. Oh, no, maybe not. They were all, I was mucking the stall, and they were all in the shelter. And then Gracie came flying out, and that's what started the whole. Yeah. yeah, it's so fun to watch them have fun. Gracie was trotting along in the field, and she just did a huge buck. Yeah, we can't we can't get any work done. But you guys, you guys know that moment when you experience something so crazy, like you know you'll never forget it, like a sunset that you're right there and it feels like it's right over top of you, or or I can't even think of another example, but things that you don't usually get to experience that are etched in your mind forever. Having our horses has like has provided so many memories like that. Like standing here, just watching them. It's like, it's like uh, such an enormous amount of joyous things to see that we probably would never have seen or never got to experience in our whole life if we didn't have them. Like, it's just, it's been incredible. So, why do I feel so fat with the sweater and the coat on? That's the thing about winter. You have to put so many layers on where we live that in the spring when you peel off all the layers, everybody's like, ooh, you're so skinny. What did you do? And Guys, you're like, yeah, I lost a lot of weight, but really um, it was just Comment down below if Ruby was hurting or not hurting. I don't think she was because Ruby, I don't think she was either. if you guys don't know this, <laughs> Ruby... Whenever horses run, she loves to play with them. Yeah, she, she loves to them bite their kicked. heels and then play with them because she wants a friend to play with. But we don't okay. have another dog that who wants to play with her. So she tries to play with the cats. She they don't like her. The cats hate Cause, her because she bites all the cats and paws at them, and they're like to play with them, but they don't understand. Oh. Gabby doesn't think that the, um, that Ruby was hurting the horse because she's not a border collie. But when we had this, no, because she wants a friend to play with. Back in the day, we used to have this dog named Chemo. Not like chemotherapy. Sam named her. Don't even ask. But anyway, so we had this whore, this dog, and he was her, his, her, he was, she was his beloved dog. She was, uh, Something crossed with a poodle, but she looked like a miniature German wasn't Shepherd. She, she was uh, brown and tan, and she looked like a German it, Shepherd. An Australian Shepherd? No. She looked like an Australian Shepherd, but she was brown and tan like a, a German Shepherd. I'll try Wait, and see I'm if I have a picture. Gabby's going to look for her pictures. But anyway, she was just a little tiny thing, 27 pounds, 
and she was a farm dog if ever there was a farm dog, but we did not have a farm dog. But she herded every little kid that ever came on our property. Um, when the girls were babies, she herded them. Like if they were gonna go someplace and, and they weren't supposed to go there, she would herd them to go back where they needed to be. Like dogs, a lot of dogs innately know how to herd, even if they're not border collies. And Ruby is our knight in shining queen because she, she literally does it all, you guys. So in the middle of the squad. Our afternoon has been crazy. Gracie was smiling. She smiled towards the truck. Okay. We cannot have the girls in that field. It's all we're gonna do is watch them all day. But anyway, so oh, there goes Willow. Oh, oh, Willow's <laughs> Gabby! Stop! Where is she Willow's gandering. Um, I can't see. see. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. They're all running. They're running to the gate. So Kaylee and Gabby have been wanting to get their nails done for a really long time since Gabby's birthday I told her she was getting her nails done with Kaylee and instead I surprised her with a trail ride with a bunch of friends She still wants her nails done. So it has never happened But Kaylee has to get her nails done because she's going to a dance at school So she asked Gabby can you come tonight? Of course tonight is the only night that I'm away and can't take her because I have riding lessons So and tonight's the only day that I'm wearing a band-aid <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Oh yeah, that's bad news actually. I can take it off. Guys, by the way, you know my gigantic blood blister? I I popped it. That's why I'm wearing this. Because it was not bearable. <laughs> so yeah. I love Gabby. I love her for being her young soul that she is. Like that is amazing. So anyways, I'm gonna tell you the guys the rest of the story with Sam here so he can't scream at me because you guys will be watching. I'm not gonna cut it out, Sam, so don't scream at me. So basically the only night that Kaylee can get her nails done at the mall is tonight. So I'm hoping that Sam will drop me off at, at riding, take Gabby to the mall, and then just sit there in the car and wait for her and then bring her back and pick me up. How do you feel, Sam? I don't know what's going on. I said, Sam, go in and get yourself some food. I made a meat pie for supper. He's like, I don't need a meat pie. And I'm like, you're gonna need a meat pie. I had four cookies. Gabby, had, did you have pie too? Oh, it was so good. They know our truck. They got our little babies. We're here. <laughs> I love them. I love them so much. They still, oh, they know where the door is too. Oh, oh that kills me. My lesson is in 20 minutes, so I have to get my horse and tack up. So that's my goal. I'm gonna tell them to throw them some hay because like I told you, they're used to getting fed three times a day. They're only fed two times a day. So when we're here, we can throw them hay. Like tomorrow, we'll throw them a little bit of hay because we have lessons. Gabby has lessons. She has a special lesson tomorrow. So this is our new home for the little while. We're gonna get another locker. They just don't have any empty yet. <laughs> and we don't have much room. I'm I'll leave Denver. Okay, good. Go get Denver for me. Denver and Coco that we're bringing in. We're catching all of them, Mom. There's three ponies in that lesson. I know, but it's not, not till after my lesson. So you have like a good 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, there's three ponies that we have to grab. Come a little closer. I want to dance with you. Everything's moving slower. I don't know what it is you do. I've been looking at you all night trying to figure you out. I just want to make you smile. What you do
If you saw Sophie's video of riding last night, then you may have you might have seen that she Gabby rode Finn and Sophie tacked him up and Sophie said, Finn, if you let me put the girth on or the bit on or do something to you, you can you can buck Gabby off, which was awful. And then he tried to buck Gabby off, but my battery was dead. He literally oh We'll be with you guys tomorrow. I know, I know, I know. Or would he eat other than Finn would go in and grab some? That makes me happy. That makes me so happy. But you know what's crazy? Finn is that like this though, like, can I have some? We moved our horses here so we could ride them more and we're not even riding them. Like, Gabby didn't ride her horse yesterday and she's not gonna ride her horse yesterday. She's gonna ride a surprise horse. I like the ocean. I see you want this too.